This is a News in Space news flash. An exciting discovery has been announced by Swiss, French, and Portuguese astronomers from research made at the European Southern Observatory in Chile. They have announced the existence of the most Earth-like planet ever found with conditions that could support life. You are looking at an artistic impression of Gliese 581c, one of three planets orbiting a red dwarf star located 20.5 light years away in the constellation Libra. Here we see the planetary system. The cool red dwarf star provides less energy to its surrounding planets. Unlike the hot Jupiter-like planet we are passing, 581c resides in the star's habitable zone, where liquid water can exist. Necessary for life on Earth, scientists believe that liquid water is a prerequisite for life elsewhere in the universe. 581c may be rocky or may have liquid water present. Scientists are excited at the prospects of exploring this world. Further out than our Earth-like cousin, we see another planet with a mass eight times that of Earth. Unlike 581c, this planet lies outside the habitable zone of the red dwarf star. The discovery of Gliese 581c was made by a team of astronomers using the European Southern Observatory's HARP instrument on the 3.6 meter telescope. This super Earth is in the perfect spot to support life. The estimated surface temperature ranges from 0 to 40 degrees Celsius or 32 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The planet's size and mass were found by measuring the wobble made by its star as the planet moved around it. The light of the star becomes redder as the star moves away from us and more blue as it moves towards us. By carefully measuring these shifts in the light frequency over time, you can determine how fast the planet orbits as well as the planet's size. Here's the location of Gliese 581c as seen in April skies, 11 p.m. at night and mid-northern latitudes. The picture you see here is one of the red dwarf, courtesy of the Sloan Digital Sky Survey using a 2.5 meter telescope on Apache Point, New Mexico. Reporting for News in Space, I'm Steve Bevan.